Okay, here's a little uh, problem I found. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure if it's just particularly to my machine. Um, when I'm aligning the gantry and tightening up the timing belts, the, um, the little metal clips on here, yeah, what I've been finding is um, I do the back ones, the two back ones, and run the gantry up and down, it's perfect, really, really good. And then as soon as I do these ones up, yeah, and put it to the front, yeah, there's a tiny bit of play. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a tiny bit of play. And I couldn't actually figure out what was causing it because it only actually happens when we tighten up this this one here. Okay, but what I can see now, when you look really, really close, okay, as we push it in, yeah, instead of what we're waiting for is the um, carriage end here to touch the plastic block here, okay. But what actually happens is once this one here is tightened down, okay, if you look, whoops, I forgot to get in focus. Okay, when we push it forward, um, before it actually hits the, the plastic bar, the little metal clip at here, over here, is catching on the uh, pulley, just there. You can see it's just, just touching, and that gives us a, a tinsy wincy gap between the plastic and the um, X end. So um, I'm just going to have a play now. What I might need to do is just file that down a tad. Um, just so that when it does touch, it touches against this. Um, so the, the X end actually touches against there. So it might just be a case of coal making these a little bit smaller. Um, not so long, because it is definitely touching on the... Just see the pulley there, and the metal a bit touches on there. Okay. Okay, um, rather than strip it down and remove the gantry again, what, what I did was just spin the, um, the black... Um, clamp around a bit. It's actually a little bit off key there, but um, I just spun it around. Um, one way will make it worse, but if you go around at probably about 270 degrees, it ends up leaving a space over here. So when, you, when your gantry comes up to the plastic spots now, hopefully you can see us, um, it sort of hits the plastic stop first rather than where it was doing the um, the um, little black clamp plate there. So it's actually missing now before it's actually hitting the poly. The other thing is the um, the leading edge of the x-axis is very very close to the pulley as well. There's actually a gap there. It doesn't actually hit it, but it's it's very it is very very close. Um, perhaps a chamfer on that on that leading edge um, might help but like, like I say I don't know whether anyone else has had issues I'm just these are just my observations I'm just wondering whether you put a, a chamfer it's a small chamfer on, on that leading edge I know these aren't handed so it would be a chamfer on here a chamfer on there just so you make sure it just doesn't hit the the pulley um, so I'm quite to try and here. see if we get a bit of shot under here Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's very hard to actually show you the clearance, but there you can see the um, the black um, clamp plate. Um, it's swiveled round. This one's cr uh, in the crest of orientation, yeah. And then this one here has been swiveled round. Um, I really do like the way um, Carl's engineered this, though. It makes it very, very easy to calibrate your um, gantry. Um, I mean, ideally, I think what I'll do is, when, if I have to strip it down again, all I'm going to do is, um, I'll drill some holes. I'll drill some holes through the, the top here. So I can pull the gantry forward. Yeah, I'll put it forward. And there'll be holes in here that I can get an Allen key down and just use um, socket head uh, bolts instead of um, the standard hex bolts. Um, that way you can just put it forward, tighten it up and you're, and you're done rather than fiddling with the spanner. But even fiddling with the spanner is a lot easier than uh, the uh, MakerBot way, which is fiddling with your uh, with the, um, the hubs, the, the, the idler pulleys and stuff. So um, yeah, really like the engineering on this uh, piece of kit.